What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, a customer sent me his control panel from Game Room Solutions and a couple of other panels. Now he's got a plug and play. Pandora's Box 18S Pro 8,000 games. I hope I don't get hit with any copyright infringement. But that Z313 and that base, damn. The tools are okay. <laughs> Now I know it's a broken record, be sure to follow me on all the socials, I made it even easier for you to click that link tree link down below at Vic underscore VP, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, you would be able to follow all the socials if you click that link and be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP, just like my other builds, if you were following me, you would have seen everything from ground up, when I received the panel, whenever I'm doing the wiring and I do some funny stuff and uh, you know, look at, you would have seen like my three year old soldering iron just took, just dead because the actual tip on this iron is melted off. It used to be a point. Anyway, you would have seen it on social media. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow on everything at Vic underscore VP. Now I said in my last video, I do get this question and request a lot and you'll most likely see more videos of this certain scenario where customers message me, they go, hey Vic man, I already have an arcade cabinet. I already have a control panel. I went out and I got something, but I really don't understand the wiring to it. I don't know how to wire a control panel. I don't really understand how you decase the speakers. Can you help me out? Or I do get, hey Vic, I don't really even know what system I need. I want to play some classic stuff like Donkey Kong, but I don't want to break the bank. What do you suggest? So in this situation and in like the other situation, you could send me your control panel and in return, I will send you back a fully configured plug and play system. In the last video, we had a PC based system, 10 terabyte. On this one, we're bringing it way down. Not in a bad way though, we're kind of bringing it down to a calmer intro beginner level. This one right here is running a Pandora's Box 18S Pro with 8,000 games. That is your system right there. That's it, right here. This little PCB board, that's it. Nothing major, nothing big like a PC build like you saw in the last video. This one is perfect. Beginner setup, very easy kind of user interface like I've always said about Pandora's boxes. This is the perfect way, honestly, to get your feet wet into emulation and in this situation, if you need a Christmas present, you need it done quick for the kids, this is awesome. Now in all honesty, this video is gonna go out after Christmas, but essentially this is gonna be sent out before Christmas. The customer's gonna get this before Christmas, so it's gonna look kinda weird when you see the date as like, I don't know, January 20 and it's all about Christmas. Yeah, this is a Christmas present. But some of you might be looking at this video and be like, hey Vic, man, Pandora's Box, I remember you did a tutorial video on getting one of those eBay, Amazon, Pandora Box control panel and you open it and you gut it and you cut it and I don't understand, like, why did you do this? Didn't you send the video to the customer? Yes, in all honesty, I did. But, like I said, some people, even though there's YouTube videos and tutorials out there, some people just don't really feel confident and they really don't want to risk a Christmas present they don't want to take that step. In return, they'd rather have a professional. I like that now, I get that email out. I'd rather have a professional do it. They'd rather have a professional do it. This situation though, it's a little bit more than just the Pandora's box swipe. We do also have the decasing of the Z313s. I'm gonna do my normal stuff. We're gonna talk about full in depth about this certain scenario and you know, the final product and all that. So let's get ready. Let's start real quick about, let's talk about the cabinet. We'll talk about the customer in the cabinet first. Now in all honesty, this customer hit me up. He did want a arcade cabinet, whether it was going to be a Konami replica cabinet or a Biovic cabinet. In all real honesty, the timing just wasn't right. I have a big wait list on a couple of my builds and he needed it for Christmas. So I suggested to go Game Room Solutions. Now again, no bad bug with Game Room Solutions. As you can see, Game Room Solutions came through. Actually kind of cool in this situation because they did a, um, what's the word I want to use? They did something that they have on their website, but they don't offer it anymore, and at least they pulled through on this. So, this customer though is not in New York. This right now, he basically got the cabinet, he ordered the Game Switches cabinet, got it in his house, and he sent me just three main panels. All right, so, I said it again. I, this is the seventh time I'm filming this, and I keep saying the word so, so deal with it. Obviously, he sent me the control panel, that's number one. He did go back on a couple of my videos and he did notice how I illuminated the kick plate 
underneath the control panel on the Game of Solutions cabinet. So I said, hey Vic, you know, what, what do I have to give you to do that? I said, I do need the control panel bottom. So he did also send me the bottom of this. I did my hobby grade bandsaw and I made this cutouts basically for him to run the LED strips. But I also took advantage and I was able to hard mount the Pandora's box PCB. So we killed two birds with one stone there. And the last and final piece was the speaker panel. Looks like Game Room Solutions up their game. They have this metal speaker grill now. And I do have the DK's Z313 staple and ready to go. This right here basically is plug and play. Yes, he's gonna get it. He'll have to build it sideways. So the speaker bill is gonna have to go sideways. I have the wire stapled down. Same thing with the bottom of the control panel. It's gonna go sideways. He's gonna put the side panel on and then lift and good to go. So now that's really it, honestly. It's, everything's there, everything's set. Again, the big deal was he did need some help decasing the Z313s. Not many people are comfortable decasing. When I do ship it, I'm gonna make sure that I package it nicely so the speakers don't move and there's no risk of damaging the tweeters and all that with my jerry-rigged setup. But as you can see also, the subwoofer is not decased. You can't decase the subwoofer on that unless you're gonna make a hole in the actual cabinet. And in all honesty, it's kind of pointless for the Z313. I've decased them and I've decased the Z533s. There's no real point of decasing the subwoofer. Now also the advantage to getting the bottom of the control panel, usually when I was doing Game of Solutions cabinets, People do notice that there is an audio controller, whether you do the Z533 or the Z313 or any Logitech Zs, they do have the audio controller. So where do I normally mount them? It usually goes underneath with the wheels towards the out, just like that. So it's kind of cool. I do have also the side cut out there. It's really on this side, just like you see here. This way you can spin the wheel, you can raise and lower the volume and you're good to go. So there's a lot of advantages. This is kind of cool. I didn't do just the control panel, we also did the audio to it and we hard mounted and set up the Pandora's box. So now we're gonna talk about the Game of Solution side of it. Honestly, they came through. They, they pulled off something that I guess they don't do anymore, but they came through. Again, with our time framing and all that, I'm really happy that they came through. When it came time to order the actual cabinet, customer was like, Vic, you order it and send it to me and I don't wanna deal with that. I don't wanna mess up your address and then it went to some, I don't deal with that. So. I team viewed in on this customer's computer and we placed the order together. Here's how it went, right? I knew he wanted Donkey Kong, I knew he wanted Pac-Man, so I was, number one, looking for a dedicated four-way. Now, I've done so many cabinets with them and I just don't remember this, but as you go down the ordering process to do the radio dials, I noticed that they did not have the option for dedicated four-way. And it's crazy because they don't have the option but if you go past the order form, you go to the bottom where it's like the details, like the cabinet details, they actually have three images with the dedicated four-way in the middle. So I couldn't pick it on a radio thing, but you could put it in the notes. With this one, I did suggest an eight-button layout. This way the customer is future-proofed for a PC build in the future if he wants to do Mortal Kombat 11. He's set. Really, it, could be a, it really should be a six-button layout for this scenario, but... Why not future-proof yourself, right? So, we got eight button layout on this. I also did request the admin buttons. They did it for this, and they didn't do it for the other one, but they did it for this one. Uh, again, these don't do anything right now, but the button is there, the micro switch is there. It's future-proofed. In the notes, though, I wrote there, hey, I noticed that you guys don't have the option for dedicated four-way, but I do want a dedicated four-way on this. They emailed back. Basically, when it was time to order, I logged off. He did his thing, and the next day, they emailed him back, and they said, we no longer do the dedicated four-way, but I spoke to the CNC guy and he can make the exception. I said, awesome, go, I approve it and all that. I've done so many Game of Solutions cabinets and I just couldn't remember. I'm like, I remember doing like 32 inch cabinets with dedicated four-way. And I was like, did I cut them though? Like I did in the last video, the bar tops, I put the dedicated four-way. They, There's no room really for that, I do that. Um, but. Anyway, they came through. So I'm really happy to see that they did include the dedicated four-way. It is a two button instead of three button, but that's okay. 99% of the games really are two buttons. I'm just really happy that they, they came through on this one. They shipped it very quickly. Once he got it, he opened it. He sent me the parts that I needed. I don't need any cam locks on this. He has everything there as far as hardware. I needed this. What's also kind of cool, you don't see the build behind you, but you'll see videos on it. I sent him a picture of that. And basically I did this kind of thing with the buttons where I swapped out the buttons. He really wanted red and yellow, but then I sent him a picture of that. 
where basically I took the center out and I swapped it. So now we have a red base, yellow button, yellow base, red button. Little details. People love. <laughs> and again, the control panel is wired, all set, ready to go. It's all clean wiring as always. Basically, the JAMA harness comes out and you just plug it in. That's it. Done. As far as the Pandora's box, you have the audio jack, which is going to go to the subwoofer. You have the HDMI cable and the power plug. And that is literally it. Cool. I have like this thing just jerry right on my bench. My bench is a mess, but I got it on styrofoam and I, I'm at least shooting a video on it. But it's awesome. Basically, like I said, I could take the Pandora's box. I'm going to hold the base down while I kind of shimmy out the JAMA. And boom, that is it. And as you can see, that control panel is free. That's it. Staple down, I always use my zip tie kind of blocks here. Enough slack. Again, when you get these and you cut them, they don't give you enough slack. That's why I do have a lot of black wire extra here. There's never enough slack, but this definitely will be fine when it goes in cabinet and you can lift and open the door. The wires aren't tight. That right there is a completely wired Pandora's box JAMA control panel. Really cool. I'm really happy that they came through with the dedicated four-way. Again, customer wanted to play Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, and you need a dedicated four-way. Cool. So I'm coming back. I'm going to basically take my JAMA harness. You could do this with the Pandora's box on or off. It's just a wire harness. And plug it in. And now we're set. I always say to my videos, I always set the Pandora's box to coin mode. I don't set it to free play, mostly because if it's in coin mode, the attract mode will cycle through all the games, meaning after 30 seconds, it will drop down to the next game. It'll show you the video drop down. If you set it to free play, it will show you that game, that video until eternity. So I always do set it to coin mode. This customer also does have a coin door. I will have a separate wire going to the coin door. So that's already pre-wired and all that. But as you see, we have our Pandora's box. Again, 8,000 games. Originally, my other ones had 4,500. Yes, this does have like 30 different versions of Street Fighter 2, but people want 8,000 games over 4,500 all day. So again, if I just look up the word like Street Fighter, I always try not to do the same games, but Street Fighter is Street Fighter. People always love Street Fighter. You got a couple of renditions, even like the PlayStation 1 and all that. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Alpha 3. And as you can see, there's nine pages of Street Fighter. Well, the word street, I should say. So let's say eight pages of Street Fighter. So there is a lot of duplicates. Uh, you got Street Fighter 2, USA, Bootleg 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7. Uh, you know, there is ways that you could basically remove those games. I just, I'm gonna, because the customer does that. I, I don't deal with that. But basically, you could game on. You got your coin buttons here. I could add coins. You could see, I could press player two start, bring in player two, bring in player one, and we game. It's awesome. Cool, right? Now, here's a cool little fun fact, but I always say this. I did an A-button layout. I feel bad because my back is turned to you. I did an A-button layout. So some people are going to look at this like, oh shit, these two buttons don't do anything. No. I actually mapped this button to button four. So that's D. If you know Neo Geo, Neo Geo is a four button kind of arcade cabinet. Not all games are four button like Metal Slug and all that. But there is a couple four button games. So this actually is now technically a Neo Geo control layout. So if I played a game like um, Art of Fighting, I'll show you real quick. Might as well load it up while I talk. Art of Fighting, it actually feels pretty good, uh, meaning it's the four button layout. So you can put your four fingers right along the top. So if I do Art of Fighting, cool. So I basically have this button four is really linked to button five. So these buttons are the same. And as far as button eight, it's button seven. So button six really, is. I lost your already, I know. <laughs> like, Vic, what are you talking about? But as you can see, it's putting some coins, and you can see A, B, C, D. So B is the kick. Up, oh, great. Obviously, you don't show me the D. Awesome. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> but basically, I'll show you what A, B, C, D does. So, Toto versus Robert. Never play this. So, A, B, C, D is tall. Again, D's here. I also have D here. So again, these buttons are linked together. And obviously up, down, left, right, that all just works. It's awesome. So Vic, why did you do eight buttons? It doesn't work. You just got to wire it correctly. So again, this situation, it's wired. 
Now, some people don't really notice, but the dedicated four-way, I feel like I say it a lot in the videos, but the dedicated four-way is in parallel, I hope I say that right, in parallel with player one. So it is the same joystick inputs, and it's button one and button two. So some people like don't understand it, I guess. Uh, I'm looking right now for Pac-Man, and I can't multitask, obviously. So let's see if we can find some Pac-Man. There we go. We'll do the MAME version. So also note MAME and Final Burn. You see there's two Pac-Man. This is stretched. So the MAME version is stretched. You might not like that. I'll bring it back. I have a coin in. I'm going to go to the Final Burn Alpha. That's the F logo. That's going to be the correct aspect ratio. Uh, this is Miss Pac-Man though. But there you go. So again, it is just, it's, it's in sync basically. So I could use player one's joystick like normal. But again, that's eight ways. See that? That's why you don't want to use an eight-way joystick. It's very sensitive on the corners. That's where you want to use the dedicated four-way. And again, button one is button one, and button two is button two. Pandora's boxes, they're just simple. That is the best part of Pandora's boxes. You got kiddos, you, again, Christmas present. You just want to get the kids into arcade stuff. This is the best way. If you leave the system alone for three minutes, it's going to bring you back to the main screen. Again, in coin mode, you need coins. If I go here, Vic, it broke, I don't know what happened, you have no coins. No coins, no money means you cannot touch the system. That's why when you put it, these inside of commercial spaces, you don't want people just playing around with the joysticks and they're able to navigate the menu. No, you need to put a coin in. And as you can see, after like 30 seconds, the screen will switch. It's showing off Tekken 5. Again, if you leave it on free play, it'll stay there. That is honestly it, guys. I mean, you got Pandora's box. Again, this is a completely wired plug and play solution. It's going out tomorrow, and it's awesome. Not much really else you can say about it. On that note, I got more videos coming up. I don't even know what I have next. Oh, I have this one. You don't see it on camera, but we do have a four player Pandora's box DX. Yes, DX one on that one. Uh, and a lot of stuff. We got rail shooter coming up. I got a lot. V pins coming up. This video is going to go out after Christmas, but happy holidays. Thank you guys for joining in. I will see you guys on the next one. I almost took a line out of Retro Ralph. Sorry, Ralph. But game on, my guys. Game on. There you go. <laughs>